Morning guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Jim. I'm gonna do a little video this morning. I'm gonna put a bolt circle of five holes on this little pulley. It's for a Tonka crane conversion project I'm working on. And I've got the pulley machined here and ready for the five holes and then that'll pretty much be uh, one finished pulley. Um, just pick five. I think that'll look good. Um, this pulley measures about an inch and a quarter overall diameter. You're probably going to have a hard time reading any of this. But it's about an inch and a quarter. And uh, it's going to ask me the DRO. I'm using the Grizzly uh, G0759 mil with the DRO. And it's going to ask me to center the cutter first. And then it's going to ask for the number of holes and starting and ending angles. I think I'm forgetting something else in there. We'll go through that here in a second. But anyway, I've marked out with Sharpie there where I think it'll look good uh, for the positioning. That's three quarters of an inch diameter, so three eighths from the center hole. And uh, so let's go over to the DRO and take a look at that. I think I'm ready here. And uh, so at the DRO, I've zeroed uh, the absolutes here. I'm still in the regular absolute mode. So if I were to move uh, the X or Y, it would uh, change the numbers there. Um, I, I'm still learning how to use this thing and I don't use it all the time for everything other than just uh, offsets from wherever I'm machining. So uh, that's pretty easy obviously, but uh, some of these functions are kind of confusing once in a while and I still screw it up once in a while. So we'll see how this one goes. But anyway, it's, uh, I think it's best to start with the absolutes zeroed, and then we're going to go into the functions. So it's over here to uh, the bolt circle, and so it's asking me to center. I've already done that, so I'm going to hit the down arrow to go to the next. Now it's asking me for the diameter, and I've already entered three quarters of an inch. And remember, this is diameter, not the uh, radius. So if you did, uh, if you did uh, three eighths it would be too short, it'd be half what you really want. So that, that always trips me up once in a while. So three quarters of an inch diameter, I'm gonna use five holes. And the starting angle, I want zero. This, if you don't zero it, I think this creates problems. Um, I don't wanna to have to make two moves right off the bat. I wanna go X or Y one way and then that's it. So I think this is gonna work out for us. So we're gonna leave that at zero and it'll ask for the ending angle and 360. And I don't completely understand that because we're not gonna have, we're not gonna drill a sixth phantom hole at, at the same spot that we started, although we could, I guess you could maybe do, tell it six holes, and then that last one would just be a repeat. But, uh, so we've done five holes, start zero, ending 360. And then when I hit the down arrow one more time, it says, okay, we're ready to drill hole number one. It says offset to minus 375, so we're gonna go 3 eighths of an inch to the left on the, the x-axis, and it's moving that way, and I've already gone too far. I'll show you the DRO again here. So I go back to zero, and it moved on me, but that's all right. So there we are, it's uh, ready to go. Hope you can see that okay. I'll try to get this back in there. And there we go. We'll turn it on and then uh, drill a couple of holes. Now you can see it has uh, given me two new coordinate sets. So let's, uh, we're gonna have to go back the other way. You basically, you're just going to zero, zero for each one of your hole positions. So we'll do that here. And I've got to also move the Y. So I'm scrolling that in to zero. go and then I hope you can see that um, it has 
move around counterclockwise is the way it's going. I can never figure out which way it's going to go, but that's the way it do, does it. Uh, I'll do the rest of these off camera and then show you the pulley when I get it done. And here's the pulley. Um, those are a number 40 drill bit. Uh, that's the drill bit I had in there, so they're uh, about an eighth inch hole. Um, now I can put this back into the drill press vise if I want to enlarge those. Um, they probably look a little bit better if they were uh, just a little larger hole. Um, and I don't know whether it's better to do that or to drill them to final size right there as you're doing the DRO. Um, I think this is pretty good way of doing it and it's not going to be a critical layout so nothing's going to go through that's just for show um, if you were doing an actual bolt circle to bolt two parts together it might make a difference um, but uh, that's the Grizzly G0759 mil with the DRO and the bolt circle thanks for watching